A Colorado Police Department is using artificial artificial intelligence to help officers do their job. Body cameras can capture more than 100 hours a week of video and the time it would take to examine all of that, go through it, quickly adds up as you might imagine. But one AI program called Trulio can analyze recordings by detecting 5 million key terms that cover everything from profanity, non-compliance, as well as professional language and giving explanations. The goal obviously is to flag problematic police behavior before it turns deadly. I want to catch something before it happens. I don't want to be reactionary. We want to be looking ahead to make sure that we stay ahead of the game, and ahead of any issues, and I don't think that's a bad thing. The Alameda Police Department in California has been using Trulio for more than a year now. It's seen a 36% drop in use of force by officers. To date, 20 police departments are using Trulio and 20 more are set up, uh, signed on to use it by the end of the year. Uh, we want to bring Darnell back in. He uh, in, handles crime and safety, and this is kind of something we've been talking about, uh, about what local departments use and how they use artificial intel intelligence. And for instance, we know that uh, you were saying that Police, or at least Detroit police, don't consider facial recognition to be AI, correct? They don't. They, they consider it to be more scientific than AI. Um, formulas, calculations. So I talked specifically to the Detroit police chief. When I talked to Chief White, he told me, he said, this isn't, we're not doing anything with AI. This is more scientific than anything else. And so he kind of pushed back on the whole AI thing, using it as an investiga investigative tool. Do you get um, any sense from departments right now how they're using a or how they do want to use it, uh, how it might be helpful in investigations? I don't know if they've already implemented some things. Yeah, a lot of departments, Jay, are using it for victimology. They're looking at it as how victims can be scammed into using AI. Oh, for, yeah. for example, you know, if you see a, a truncated number and it has the same three digits as your phone number, you answer the phone and you're going, hello, hello, hello. Now that AI person, whoever is, is copying that, has your voice print, and they're using that for fraudulent purposes. So most of them are using it for victimology yeah. more than it's as a research method because of the bias that it could pre present. And Hank's actually going to be with us tomorrow on uh, Local Forward in, on the morning show to talk about scams, and I'm sure that's going to be part of it as well. Now, there has been a lot of talk also about police using it to prevent crime. It's almost kind of like the movie Minority Report, if anybody's familiar with that. Not quite using, you know, psychics to prevent and stopping murders, but uh, using this AI as a way of tracking where crime is going to happen and they can actually stop it before it starts. Yeah, a lot, a lot of agencies, again, are, particularly in, in this area, are giving a lot of pushback to that because of the fact that it can create some disparate numbers in how you patrol certain areas because of populations and demographics. So a lot of agencies are pushing back, and they're not, they're not using it for that purpose here or not so going to. That comes off more as a profiling type of thing. Abs absolutely. Even though the statistics say some, we get a lot of activity here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good question, or a good point there. Uh, as an officer, what are you most concerned about with AI when it comes to that? Like going into the future on a law enforcement side, is there any one thing that worries you more than anything else? I mean, it can't take over a police officer job. So from that perspective, not. But just the, the challenges it, it poses for investigative purposes. I mean, it, it voice investigations, uh, uh, handwriting, uh, writing styles. Uh, there's so many different things that pose a problem for law enforcement and can create so, a, a lot of issues where people may be wrongly accused. And so it's a big, big yeah. problem. And I, we always see this. I always think of uh, car theft, where it always seems like the car thieves figure something new out. Police have to kind of play catch up and become an expert in whatever they're doing. So now if they're using AI to commit crimes, now some department in the, uh, at the police department is going to have to become an expert as well. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. A lot of police work is reactive just by nature. Yeah. And so this is going to be a huge problem eventually for law enforcement, but they'll, they'll get on it. They'll get yeah. on it.